Welcome to this episode of Your Property Business, the video podcasts that help you get the most out of your own property business. But t- tell me a bit about you know what you think, what you would describe interior design as. What's the what's your definition of of it? Yeah, uh, I think it's a bit of a misconception about interior design. Um, a lot of the times, people think uh, when they hear interior design, they think about soft furnishing, your sofa, your rugs, mm. uh, um, and everything else, wallpaper, and so on. That's fine. That that's still part of interior design, but it it, it it's further down the line. That's pretty much the last uh, step in the process. Mm. So interior design is the art and, and science of understanding people's behavior to create functional spaces uh, and aesthetically pleasing within a building. Okay. So it's functional spaces that uh, that are aesthetically pleasing. That exactly does the order. Um, interior design starts at the very early stage uh, in the process when uh, the layout of a building it, it's it's considered. Mm. So the interior design should affect the shape, the 2D layout, the 3D layout, and so on. Mm. So it's very technical bef- uh, be- before coming aesthetically pleasing. Let's put it Got this it. way. Yeah. Okay. So, it, it, yeah, okay. So it's, it's definitely about function um, and maybe, like you say, less so about um, the soft, soft burdening, as, yeah. as we might describe them, later Aren't in the... We- Function is the primary thing. Is the first step in the process when space planning. Uh, it's it is the first uh, part. Uh, I, I look at this. Uh, usually, we speak. We, we speak when the, we work with architects early on in the process. When let's say we design this this product, this is the end result. Mm. So let's do it accordingly. So the first thing we do, we are just moving walls accordingly within a building or having the right layout, it has to flow right. And then you, okay. you, you try not to, you look in 2D uh, plans first, then you go to 3D, then you go technical, uh, service drawings, plans, elevation, so on. And then towards the end, you, you'll you just cover, like what we said earlier, you yeah. know, your cushions, sofas, because it, it, you, you're you you going to fail if you, if, you don't, if you don't cover this first, you can buy, buy the best sofa on the market best wallpaper uh and, and so on but if the the place is a maze and then you're trying you see obstacles all the time within and then it doesn't serve the the end consumer that you you're not you're not you're not um you're not going for success no i understand have you got a sense uh, about what are the things that people do or don't do that you know would that might lead them to be a design fail or or something that oh that could have been so much better. What what sort of things do you see? That um, I see all the time that, and, uh, that could be better. Yeah, I, I see all the time that this is being overlooked and, and then uh, is not given enough importance. Okay, just because people have this misconception about interior design and say, okay, that's dressing up the room later on in the process. Mm. So when when it comes to that that point, in depending on the size of the project and the complexity of it. Uh, if you uh, if you leave it till the end, yeah. then it's not much you can do about it. Like with the space planning and 3D, it's mm-hmm. already too late. Um, uh, so people tend to leave this at a very uh, at a very um, uh, late stage in the process, which should right. be looked at at the beginning of the process. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's the main issue that I see a lot of times in big big projects or smaller ones as well. Mm. And then it's not much you can do. So people have to be educated and say, this is not interior design. It's just, I should have been here a month ago or three months ago, or at the, at the early stage of the process, mm. when you're working out your GDV or you're working out who you're going to rent your SA unit or how much. Mm. And by doing that, um, being involved in that stage, it can definitely help out. And then you can start, um, follow all this process which it mm. has a few, few steps in a way no? mm. so we have to be involved a lot earlier in the process and then we're not most of the times <laughs>